Hello, welcome back to AC3D CAD. Today we will be modeling a lap joint flange, which is a pipe fitting that has two components the stub end, which is welded to the pipe, and the flange that can slide through the welded pipe. Let's start with the flange. So this is the flange that I sliced to show the section view and these are the dimensions. So to start a new drawing, click that icon and start new and select ACAD 3D for Imperial open go to view click tile vertically and from the ribbon go back to home select circle Type D for diameter option and enter 10. Change the layer or create layer. New layer and change this color to red. Choose the layer 1, go back to ribbon, and click the circle again, type D for diameter option, and enter 7.88. Circle again, let's go to top view, circle. Select the quadrant, type D for diameter, and enter 0.88. Type A, and select Array, and select Object to Array, and select Polar. And specify Center. And change the number of items at the ribbon. So change it to 8. Right click and enter. Press the shift button or shift key and press the middle button of your mouse to change the direction of the drawing. And then Go back to circle again, select center, and enter D, and type 5.7 for diameter. Go back to the ribbon, type D again for diameter, and enter 4.6. Delete this circle, which is just a guide. Highlight this one and the bolt holes in this circle. Go back to the ribbon and select extrude command. Bring it down for 1.25. Turn off the grid. Press pull command again from the ribbon. Bring your pick box over the hole. And then when it's highlighted, left click bring it down left click again highlight bring over or hover over when it's highlighted 
left click and left click again same process here you could always use subtract command as an option highlight here uh, between these two circles you can see the blue color and then click bring it up for 0.63 and then go back to the ribbon and select union command and union these two items and then press your shift key and the middle button of your mouse at the same time turn the object around and go back to solid and select fillet edge we have to do the radius here which is 0.44 and at the command prompt select radius option and enter 0.44 select the edge enter right click again and enter to accept now we're done with our flange. What I'm going to do is move this one. And delete the unwanted objects. Now our flange is ready. Now let's do the stub end. So go to custom view. And select top view select circle D for diameter and enter 6.18 right click to repeat circle enter D and enter 4.46 repeat circle Diameter of 4.6. So the length of this top end is 6.237. So we're going to extrude these two to 6.237. And this thickness here is 0.237, so extrude this, extrude this circle for 0.237. Subtract command from the ribbon, right click and select that center to remove that. And then to poke a hole. It's not working. So I'm just going to do union. Press pull. Oh, there it's highlighted. Just bring it down. There you go. Radius here is 0.44. So go back to solid, select fillet edge, go to the command window, click the radius, press enter to accept the default value or the given value of 144, so enter, select edge, right click, enter, right click again to accept the value, oh, I mean the command. So let's move this one. Select the center and select the center here. And as you can see, this thickness is sticking out to visualize. So this is the one here, the stub end, and this is the face of the stub end. And the distance is 0.237. So I'm just gonna move that one. 
four point twenty three seven. Now we're done. I'm just gonna change the colors. I think this one is uh, blue. Stub N is red. Oops. I'm gonna create a plunge. Why not? Not plunge, but pipe. I'm gonna move that first. Four point six and four point four six. Diameter is D first, then four point four six. There you go. Extrude. This is the pipe, by the way. So any length. It's okay and then right click select the object you want to remove there you go so I'm just gonna change the layer for this pipe all right and then attach the pipe move okay come on computer is getting slower now all right and center here center come on there you go so this is the pipe welded to the stub end and this one as I have mentioned earlier can slide through the welded pipe okay thank you very much that's the end of our tutorial and uh, please don't forget to subscribe like or comment or any suggestions any request i'll be willing to answer you if i could if i can thank you very much goodbye see you again